What's up, everybody? Welcome to Level Up with Adobe Premiere Pro. My name is Pedro Flores. And I'm Eric Ochoa, and we're about to level up your short films. Let's, Let's get go. it. Do you want to learn how to create your own sound effects, repair audio, and other tips using Adobe Premiere Pro? Well, you're in luck because Eric and I are gonna show you the best way to level up your short films using Adobe Premiere Pro. My name is Pedro Flores and I'm a producer director and for the last 20 years, I've been making short films, movies, and viral videos with today's guest, Eric Ochoa. Eric is an actor, YouTuber, and director who has accumulated millions of views on his videos. And today he joins us to level up our short film. So what's up guys? We're here in this Western town. If you had the opportunity, what would you do to level it up editing wise or production wise? Like, What would you do? I would love to level up my audio and sound effects for my videos. I'm also in for leveling up all other parts of production. Yeah, I was thinking we could create our own sound effects and then clean them up using Adobe Premiere Pro. Man, uh, we gotta change and get into makeup for the next scene. That's true. Stick around to learn how to level up sound effects for your short films using Adobe Premiere Pro. <laughs> What's up, guys? So I'm about to show Eric our short film that we did. So uh, let's go. Check it out, guys. You ready for this? I'm ready. I'm so let's ready. Go. One of my weakest points is audio, man. Like mm -hmm. honestly, I always have a hard time on set with audio. That's why when we were shooting this, I was so happy that we're not recording yeah, audio. Yeah, MOS on it. Yeah, yeah, but some of the audio was so good that I had to find a way to salvage it. So for example, right, we have this bad audio. So as you can tell, it's pretty bad. There's like a hum, a bunch of background noise, but luckily that's pretty easy to fix in Premiere. Let me show you. So you click on the clip, you go into essential sound, then you go to dialogue, then you go to repair and you go to reduce noise and all you gotta do is slide it to activate it. Okay, so here it is at five, so you could right away hear the difference. And right away, it's already way better. But you can actually go further and reduce the rumble a little bit, you could even de-hum it. I like to start these pretty low and then move them up because if you overdo it, you kind of make your audio sound like it's underwater. You kind of actually destroy your audio. So you want to kind of start low and then, you know, go up from there. So let's check it out now. So I feel like we can probably take out the de-hum and then go up on the reduced noise and that'll be a little better. There you go. Now I'll play it for you without the repair. See, it's like night and day. And once again, Ooh. one click, baby. Yeah, so I'm telling you, man, like there's so many times where I have bad audio and it's literally one click. And there's nothing more frustrating, dude, than like while you're watching something, right? Post, edit, and you're just sitting there like, oh, what is that sound? Yeah, what exactly. is that in the background? So exactly. just click it and it's gone. That's, That's it. it. So after this clip, I want to show you how I created some original sound effects. Now, even though this was supposed to be an old timey kind of silent film, but not really, I knew there was gonna be a lot of sound effects and it was gonna be driven by a lot of sound and music. Now right here, when we first get out of prison, you hear like this digging noise. Day before, we just got up pretty early and uh, just dug. 
And yeah, once again, for those who are just asking, like, why don't we just get the sound that day? Well, we couldn't get the microphone that close to us and we knew most of the, the sound was gonna be added in post-production. So another thing I wanted to show you is how we did the sound effect right here. And uh, first of all, if you can see, he actually moves the whole can. But uh, yeah, let me show you. So we actually got that the day before. I grabbed the horseshoe and there's a bunch of like cans and tin pots uh, on the walls. So I just got the microphone real close and I uh, got this cool sound effect right here. And as I did with all my other audio, I just ran it through the Premiere Audio Repair tool to kind of get rid of some of the background noise. And yeah, that was our spit. You can see right here. Nice, very easy. Yeah, dude. So it's cool to actually see you do this stuff. You know, I've always kind of wondered. Thanks, man. Let me show you this one last clip and this one final tool that I use. So in this particular clip right here, I had this audio track that kind of felt a little short. I needed it to be a couple seconds longer, but luckily Premiere has this crazy tool called the Remix tool, which actually extends songs. So for example, I wanted this audio track here, this music track here to end around here, right where he presses that last piano key right there. So all we gotta do is click on the clip, go over here to your tools, find the Remix tool, and extend it. Now what I normally do is I extend it a little bit past where I want it, just to have a little bit more control. So let's extend it all the way over here. And there you go. It just extended the song. You see here how it extended it with these lines right here. Now all I gotta do is fade out the audio right where he presses that key. And that's pretty easy. Just get your pen tool, shortcut P, and click one end, click the other end, and fade it out. And there you go. I just extended the song with a couple clicks and uh, let's listen to it. Easy breezy, that's the remix tool. All right guys, thank you very much for tuning in to Level Up with Adobe Premiere Pro. Special thanks to today's guest, Eric Ochoa. My name is Pedro Flores and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks man, appreciate hey, it. Thanks. I love you man. Right, I love you too. Ah! On the next episode of Level Up at Adobe Premiere Pro, Gabriela Bañuelos and I will level up your TikTok videos. Don't miss it!